Hello students, now we will learn how to write a program for 806 microprocessor. For that you have to download a 806 emulator. The link will be provided in the comment section. For writing a program in 806 we have to open the editor and in that we will start writing the program as a data segment. And here is the location where we will be writing the data if it is required for the data segment or information for the program. Next is the code segment and code ends. This code segment and code ends are the two segment directives which allows us to understand what where the program is written. So in this we have to write a program that is for move ax comma ds which allows us to understand that this data segment the ax will contain the data which will be moved to ds as a ax. So these two lines will allow us to introduce this data segment to this data segment register. The address of this data segment will be loaded into this data segment and this will make the compiler or emulator to understand where the data segment is lo located. Then we will move the contains 1111H hexadecimal into AX register whereas move BX comma 2222 two, 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 hexadecimal contains into bx register add ax comma bx will add the contains of bx into ax this is the final details or this is the final program start will instruct this is again another directive which instruct the compiler to tell where the program starts we have to write one more instruction assume which allows the microprocessor to understand the code segment is informed with code and ds is for data. So if we execute or compile this particular instruction it will save the program and then the program will be executed. Then we have to run this program step by step. This is a single step location which, which allows us to execute this instructions one after another. When we before we start this instruction we will understand this emulator. We have here registers AX, BX, CX, DX, CS, IP, SS, SP, BP, SI, DI, DS and ES register. We have first written the instruction that is move AX comma data. So this move AX comma 00710 is written here. This 00710 is nothing but the address of CS core segment 0710. So this 0710 is loaded into AX and then from AX to DS so that the DS will be loaded with 0710 instruction. We will execute it a single step after executing so AX now will be loaded with 0710 and in the next instruction AX will be copied into DS so that the DS instruction is very well known the data instruction data segment and it will be allow uh, it will allow the microprocessor to access the data from the data segment. So now DS is loaded with 0, 0710 then we will write execute the next instruction that is move AX comma 00, 0 sorry AX comma 1111H. So this 1111 will be 
copied into AX. After executing this instruction, now AX has 0710, but it will alter the contents to 1111. After execution, the AX will have the contained 1111. The second instruction is move BX comma 02222. So this 2222 contents will be copied into BX. So after executing this instruction, BX will hold 2222. The next instruction is add. The contents of BX will be added into AX and the final result will be stored into AX itself. After executing, AX will have 3333H contents. So this is how we will write or execute our first program. Thank you.